Hello everyone and welcome to this Playoff Edition broadcast here at this 2015 NLDS on MLB 15, the show on the PS4 between your San Diego Padres and the Washington Nationals here at Nationals Park, the great capital of our great nation. This 2015 NLDS has arrived between your San Diego Padres and the Washington Nationals. Both of these teams first place in their divisions this season. Padres first in the NL West, Nationals first in the NL East. They will be looking to advance in this five game series. The winner of this will move on to the seven game set in the NLCS. Here is the team info for both teams. As you see for the Nationals, mostly led here by Eric Hosmer and their three-headed monster pitching rotation here in Washington, D.C. So as these opening ceremonies get set to conclude, we'll go over the starting pitching matchup for today. It's going to be big game James Shields for the Padres and Steven Strasburg for the Nationals. So here we go. Game one of this 2015 NLDS is ready to go here in Washington. Here is the starting lineup, Alcides Escobar, Will Myers, Matt Kemp, Justin Upton, Will Middlebrooks, Yonder Alonso, Derek Norris, Jed Jerko, and James Shields. They will be going against Steven Strasburg, the righty who went 16-10 with a sub-2 ERA this past season in 2015 with 198 strikeouts. So, first batter of the day is Alcides Escobar. Here's the 2-2 pitch from Strasburg, ring him up. Escobar is down on strikes, and Strasburg bringing the heat so far in this first at-bat. Next batter, Will Myers. 1-1 pitch to him. 10th pitch of the day for Strasburg. He deals, and that is hit into right field, and that is the first base hit of the day and of the series for the San Diego Padres. Will Myers is aboard. Next up, we have Justin Upton, who hit 280 in this past season. 1-2 pitch to him is a low curveball, and it fools him. And now he is down on strikes. So Strasburg gets out of the inning with no damage done. And here is the lineup for the Washington Nationals. Take in mind that the three and four hitters, Eric Hosmer and Bryce Harper, are going to be the toughest to get around for the Padres. But they're going to be sending up big game James Shields on the mound, who was 11 and 7 with a 313 ERA and 163 strikeouts in 2015. So here comes Eric Hosmer with a runner on first with one out. And he is going to single into left so that will move a runner into scoring position now runners on first and second for ryan zimmerman 0-2 pitch to him is hit over to third will middlebrooks picks it up throws across the mound in time for the out and just like strasburg james shields no damage done so we're in the second inning now up to bat is will middlebrooks full count and he's hitting this one into right center that's gonna fall that is gonna go all the way to the wall and Will Middlebrooks is going to have himself a leadoff stand-up double here in this second inning. So a nice job to start off. And that will bring Jed Jerko up to the plate with Middlebrooks on second. Jerko pops this one into left center. That's going to land. And that will be extra bases. Will Middlebrooks easily comes home and he will score. So the first run of this 2015 NLDS between the Padres and the Nationals belongs to the San Diego Padres, it's 1-0, and James Shields is dealing. Gets Brian Dozier on strikes. Next batter, Steven Strasburg, 2-2 pitch. Ring him up. Another strikeout for Shields, and like I said earlier, he's dealing. Will Myers up to the plate now in the third inning. Runner on first, that's Alcides Escobar. He's taken off for second, and he will make it. A stolen base for Escobar, and he puts himself in scoring position. Matt Kemp up to bat now with runners on the corners and no outs. He will hit into a double play, but with no outs, it will allow Escobar to come home and score. So Kemp will get the RBI, and it is 2-0 Padres in the third. Runners on first and second for Yonder Alonso. He's singling up the middle. Throw home is going to be late. Justin Upton comes home across the plate, and he will score. Fourth inning now, Bryce Harper trying to get something going for the Nationals. 1-1 pitch to him is hit down the line into right. That is fair, and that will land. And Matt Kemp cannot do anything about that. Bryce Harper has himself a double, and he is doing everything to get his squad rolling here in D.C. Brian Dozier up to bat with Harper now at third. 3-2 pitch to him is hit over to first. Yonder Alonso scoops it up and steps on the bag for the out. So once again, James Shields still has not allowed a run 
And that will bring, you know, Escobar up to the plate. Pinch hitting here in the fifth. Escobar hits this one deep into left. Upton's back. Track. Wall. Goodbye. Yunel Escobar delivers the pinch hit solo shot here in the fifth inning and that will definitely give the Nationals some life as they will slowly chip away at this Padres lead. It is now 3-1 and they are going to be bringing in Craig Stammen here as he will probably most likely come in a lot here in this series as he's in in the sixth. Derek Norris up to bat and he's missing on that slider and he is down on the strike. So nothing going here in the sixth for the Padres. And we'll head to the bottom of the sixth, where we will bring in Sean Kelly in relief, trying to close things down. He will face Wilson Ramos, the catcher, 3-1 pitch with a runner on first and one out. Ramos is going to single into center. And now there are runners on first and second for the Nationals. Here comes Brian Dozier up to bat. Once you pitch to him, is hit into right. That's a base hit. And Kemp with a strong throw home will hold all three runners, and that means the bases are loaded. So Sean Kelly in a bit of a jam here with Michael Taylor up to bat. He's hitting this one deep enough into center as the runner will tag from third. And that is not even going to make it home as the run will score. And now it is three to two. Nick Vincent trying to clean things up as Jose Lobaton, the pinch hitter for the Nationals, trying to get things tied up. Here's the one-two pitch, and that's hit into center. Myers is going to need a strong throw home. The runner's coming home. The throw is in time, but Norris loses his traction, and the run will come home and score. Wilson Ramos comes across the plate, and this game is tied up at three. The ending will come to an end as Middlebrook's Throws it across the mound to Alonzo, but the damage was done. 3-3, and we will bring in Dale Thayer to allow, hopefully, no more runs for the Padres in the eighth. And that is going to be a strikeout. So Dale Thayer just trying to clean up Sean Kelly's mess, and that will bring up Brian Dozier up to the plate with a runner on first. The 2-1 pitch is hit into center, and that will advance the runner from first to second. So runners in scoring position for the Nationals. Next batter. Michael Taylor hits this one into right center. That is not going to be caught. Kemp is going to get this one off the wall. One run is in to score. Here comes the next one as Derek Norris is there, and he loses his traction again. Two runs will come home and score, and the Padres are not helping out their pitchers on defense. 5-3 to three here in the eighth. Make it 6-3, to three, and... Matt Kemp is not helping out the Padres' cause as he misplays that one in right. And as soon as the Padres had that 3-0 lead, the Nationals put up a 6 spot and come roaring back to life. It is now 6-3 as they are trying to close things out here in the top of the ninth. Jed Jerko up to the plate. 2-1 pitch to him is hit into right. Harper's going back. He's just about at the track and he's going to make the catch just before the 335 mark in right field. And there is one down here in the ninth for the Nationals. Tommy Medica up to pinch hit for the Padres. 3-2 pitch to him is hit into center. And that is going to bring Tony Gwynn Jr. all the way back. And he will make the catch. So two down now for the Nationals in the ninth. And the last hope for the Padres is going to be Alcides Escobar, their leadoff man with a hit today. Can he get another one? Here's the 1-2 pitch. And that is hit over to shortstop. Desmond has it. The throw over to first is in time. And the Nationals are going to take game one of this 2015 NLDS. They look to be down and gone forever as they let up three runs early. We're down 3 nothing, but then they come roaring back to life. Score six unanswered. And the 6-3 to three victory belongs to the Washington Nationals. Game number two is tomorrow. San Diego needs to bounce back. Your player of the game is the pinch hitter, Yunel Escobar, who got things started and led his team to a victory in Game 1 Nationals. With the 1-0 series lead, we will see you next game, folks.